CDL General Knowledge Practice Test, Questions and Answers, updated for 2023. What is the most important factor for doing a vehicle inspection? A, cleanliness. B, safety. C, to waste time before you leave. The answer, B, safety. Which of the following can be considered a road hazard? A, work zones. B, foreign objects. C, off ramps and on ramps. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. Why is it a good idea to put the starter switch key in your pocket during pre-inspection? A, so you don't lose the key. B, so no one moves the vehicle while you are inspecting underneath. C, so no one tries to steal your vehicle. The answer, B, so no one tries to move the vehicle while you are inspecting underneath. True or false, when backing up, you should always back up toward the driver's side. The answer, true. For optimal line of view, always back up toward the driver's side. How many emergency reflective triangles should you have with you in your truck? A, four, B, two, C, three, D, five. The answer, C, three. What type of vehicles are required to have anti-lock braking systems? A, truck tractors with air brakes built on or after March 1st, 1997. B, other air brake vehicles, trucks, buses, trailers, and converter dollies built on or after March 1st, 1998. C, hydraulically brake trucks and buses with gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds or more built on or after March 1st, 1999. D, all of the above. The answer? D, all of the above. Which of these are warning signs of fatigue? A, heavy eyelids or frequent blinking. B, yawning repeatedly or rubbing eyes. C, drifting between lanes. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. Before starting down a hill, what is the proper gear that your vehicle should be in? A, shift into a low gear. B, the same gear you were in before the hill. C, shift up a gear. The answer, A, shift into a low gear. What is glare? A, a nasty look from a distracted driver. B, being blinded for a short time by a bright light. C, camera flash. The answer, B, being blinded for a short time by a bright light. What is the best way to use in-vehicle communication equipment safely? A, post on social media while on the road. B, use hands-free devices at all times. C, use a laptop to keep in communication with family. The answer, B, use hands-free devices at all times. How much space should you leave between you and the vehicle in front of you? A, one second for every 10 feet of trailer under 40 miles per hour. B, two seconds for every 10 feet of trailer under 40 miles per hour. C, four seconds for every 10 feet of trailer under 40 miles per hour. The answer, A, one second for every 10 feet of trailer under 40 miles per hour.
true or false, it is okay to safely remove the radiator cap as long as the engine isn't overheated. The answer, false. Which of these can cause a skid? A, over braking, B, over steering, C, driving too fast, D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. If you are driving twice as fast, how much does your stopping distance increase? A, two, B, four. The answer, B, four. What is an escape ramp? A, a place for truckers to relax. B, first thing you should try during brake failure. C, made to stop a runaway vehicle safely without injuring drivers and passengers. The answer, C. An escape ramp is made to stop a runaway vehicle safely without injuring drivers and passengers. True or false? There are three types of vehicles that could get stuck on a railroad highway crossing. The answer, false. The two types of vehicles that could get stuck on a railroad highway crossing are a single axle tractor pulling long trailers with landing gear set to accommodate a tandem axle tractor or low slung units such as car carriers, low boys, possum belly livestock trailers, and moving vans. What are some exhaust system defects? A, loose, broken, or missing pipes, mufflers, or tailpipes. B, missing brackets, clamps, bolts, or nuts. C, exhaust system parts rubbing against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts on the vehicle. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. What is the minimum tread depth for front tires? A, two thirty seconds of an inch tread depth. B, three thirty seconds of an inch tread depth. C, four thirty seconds of an inch tread depth. The answer, C, four thirty seconds of an inch tread depth. True or false? BC type fire extinguishers are designed to work on electrical fires and burning liquids. The answer, true. Did you know that rail transport is one of North America's safest and most successful trucking companies? Learn more about rail transport, transportation careers, including on the job CDL training at rail.jobs. What is the proper braking technique for going down a long, steep downgrade? A, put the vehicle in neutral and apply the brakes at 50%. B, downshift and apply the brakes. C, apply the brakes hard enough to feel a slowdown. When speed has reduced by approximately five miles per hour below your safe speed, release brakes. When your speed increases to your safe speed, repeat steps one and two. The answer, C. Apply the brakes hard enough to feel a slowdown. When your speed has reduced by approximately five miles per hour below your safe speed, release brakes. When your speed increases to your safe speed, repeat steps one and two. If you become tired while driving, what should you do? A, turn your music up loud. B, pull over and get some rest. C, have some coffee. The answer, B, pull over and get some rest. 
What are some suspension system defects? A, cracked or broken spring hangers. B, missing or broken leaves in any leaf spring. C, leaking shock absorbers. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. There are three things that add up the total stopping distance. Which of these is not one of them? A, perception distance. B, braking distance. C, reaction distance. D, sight distance. The answer, D, sight distance. True or false? Night driving is less dangerous because there are fewer vehicles on the road. The answer, false. What are two causes of tire fires? A, overinflated tires in duels that don't touch. B, underinflated tires in duels that touch. C, driving too long. The answer, B, underinflated tires and duels that touch. What are some signs of a distracted driver? A, vehicles drifting in and out of lanes. B, drivers using cell phones while driving. C, changes in vehicle speed. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. How far ahead do CDL manuals say you should look? A, two minutes. B, 12 to 15 seconds. C, 20 to 30 seconds. The answer, B, 12 to 15 seconds. It is important to always check your tires. What are some issues you may encounter? A, dual tires that come in contact with each other or other parts of the vehicle. B, too much or too little air pressure. C, tread separation. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. True or false, an empty truck takes more time to break than a fully loaded one. The answer, true. If you are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 55 miles per hour, how many seconds of following distance should you allow? A, two seconds. B, four seconds. C, five seconds. The answer, C, five seconds. Which of the following are key steering system parts? A, steering arms. B, pitman arm. C, drag link. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. What are the two special conditions where you should downshift? A, going up a hill and turning. B, going down a hill and slowing down. C, before entering a curve and before starting down a hill. The answer, C, before entering a curve and before starting down a hill. When backing, why is it important to use a helper? A, so you have someone to talk to. B, there are blind spots you can't see. That's why a helper is important. The helper should stand near the back of your vehicle where you can see the helper. Before you begin backing, work out a set of hand signals you both understand. Agree on a signal for stop. C, none of the above. The answer, B. 
There are blind spots you can't see. That's why a helper is important. The helper should stand near the back of your vehicle where you can see the helper. Before you begin backing, work out a set of hand signals you both understand. Agree on a signal for stop. True or false? You should turn wide left before turning right. The answer, false. Which of the following is a cause of a vehicle fire? A, underinflated tires. B, electrical system issues. C, spilled fuel. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. As a truck driver, how often should you inspect the securement of your cargo? A, within the first 25 miles, B, within the first 50 miles of a trip and every 150 miles or every three hours, whichever occurs first, C, within the first 100 miles of a trip and every 500 miles or every three hours, whichever occurs first. The answer, B, within the first 50 miles of a trip and every 150 miles or every three hours, whichever occurs first. If it is foggy out, what is the best advice for driving in fog? A, don't drive in fog. B, use high beams. C, speed up, attempt to drive out of the fog. The answer, A, don't drive in fog. How are hydraulic brakes tested for leaks? A, check around the tires for liquid on the ground. B, pump the brake pedal three times. Apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. C, listen for squeaky noises when pressing on brakes. The answer, B, pump the brake pedal three times. Apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. You wear corrective glasses or contact lenses. When is it okay to drive without them? A, short trips. B, when parking. C, never. The answer, C, never. True or false, stopping is the safest thing to do in an emergency. The answer, false. Which of the following is something that needs to be checked on the front of your vehicle during your walk around inspection? A, check that the low beams are on. B, check that your turn signals both work properly. C, check that hazard lights work properly. D, all of the above. The answer, D, all of the above. When stopped on a divided highway, where should your reflectors be placed? A, 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. B, 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. C, five feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. The answer, A, 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. True or false, aggressive driving and road rage are the same thing. The answer, false. What is hydroplaning? A, when a plane makes an emergency landing on the highway. B, when water or slush collects on the roadway and your tires can't make contact with the surface of the road and you lose control of the vehicle. B, when water freezes on the road and makes the surface look wet. The answer, B. 
When water or slush collects on the roadway and your tires can't make contact with the surface of the road and you lose control of the vehicle. There are three types of emergency equipment you must have. Which of the following is not one of them? A. Police scanner. B. Red reflective triangles. C. Spare electrical fuses. D. Fire extinguisher. The answer? A. Police scanner. What is black ice? A. A thin layer of ice that makes the road look wet. B. Ice that turns black when you touch it. C. A thin layer of ice that forms on your windshield. The answer? A. A thin layer of ice that makes the road look wet. True or false, you've had a couple of beers. Having a cup of coffee and some fresh air will sober you up. The answer? False. What are the two things that every safe driver looks ahead for? A, rest stops and restaurants. B, traffic and road conditions. C, wildlife and local attractions. The answer, B, traffic and road conditions. While driving, you are confronted by an aggressive driver. What do you do? A, pull over. B, speed up. C, report the aggressive driver to the proper authorities. The answer, C, report the aggressive driver to the proper authorities.